Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So today we are going to use soft pastels and black paper but if you don't have soft pastels you can use oil pastels. So this is what we are going to create today. So as you can see a very seasonal uh, piece of work so we've got some pine we've got some holly and we've got some very shiny uh, balls uh, that look like marbles actually and then here you can see we've got what kind of look like fairy lights so that is the kind of thing we'll be making today so I'm just gonna brush this to one side and we will begin so with this you are going to get now I recommend to start off with you are going to get a white pastel and you're going to start this drawing off by doing some circles on your page. I recommend doing about six. So you're going to make sure that your circles are fairly big and there is enough space in between so that you can do your branches in between afterwards. You don't have to do circles, you can do other types of shapes, you could do square, you can do diamond, you can do heart shapes, but I'm just going to stick with circle. So the next bit you're going to do is you're going to colour them in. So I'll start off by creating a red circular bauble. So I'm just going to colour this all in red like so. Now obviously, once you've done that red, it's quite flat. It's not standing out, it's not 3D, like in these for example. So what you're going to do is you're going to make it 3D by creating shadow and creating light. So we'll start off by doing the light part. So with your white again, on the top you're going to add a bit of light to it. There you go, you can blend it in a little bit with your fingers. And then I'm just going to add a bit more light just in the middle just to really show where the highlight is. Now I'm going to choose something darker. Now my recommendation for red is using a dark blue for the shadow instead of completely black. So just a little bit at the bottom here. Blend that out. Like so. A bit more blue. Right. And make that a bit more red in the middle. So you can see that now it's looking really 3D. I'll just blend in where the light is here.
Right, so that is my bubbles complete. So what I'm gonna do is obviously you might be able to see a lot of fingerprints. The easiest way to do that, to get rid of those, is just to get a bit of tissue and you're just gonna wipe any of the fingerprints or dust from pastels away. Right, so the next part is uh, the leaves and the branches. So what you're gonna need for that is you're gonna need a brown. Uh, we're just gonna do a couple of branches going into the page like so. I'm gonna do about four or five. Maybe six. There you go. Then what you're going to need is you're going to need a light green, you're going to need a white, and then you're going to need a darker green. And if you've got also a green that's darker uh, more than that, or like a turquoise, you can use that as well. So with, with your light green, you are just going to create dashes. Use the edge of your pastel so you get some nice fine lines. So you do them on one side and then you do them on the other side like so. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get the dark green and you're going to repeat the process. Trying to leave some of the light. The quicker you are, the more natural it looks. If you're a bit robotic, let's say, uh, let's get a piece of paper. If you're a bit robotic with the drawing, you just like this. It's not going to look as good. Uh, so just be really loose. Let your wrist do all the work. Like so, uh, if you've got an even darker green, you can just add a bit of that and then the final bit is with the white you're just going to create some more dashes and that'll look like you know there's a bit of light catching like so and that is your first branch so i'm just going to repeat the process uh, with the others but i'm going to show you uh, i'm going to leave one where it's just going to be some holly so I'll show you how to do that one. Okay, so they are my pine branches done. I'm just going to show you how to do some holly. So, similar process where with your light green, you're just going to draw some stalks. I'm going to do four, like so. And I'll use that as a guide. So, spiky edges. like so there uh, then you're just going to colour that in And then once they're blended, I am going to get a darker green and I'm just going to create in the stalks again to the outside. So, 
Uh, I might do a bit of turquoise. Just to put a bit of shade in. And then I'm going to add some white just around the edges, just to highlight it a little. Might add a bit of white where the branch is, like so. Then you're going to get a red, and you're just going to do some circles for the berries. And then the final thing with those bedrooms is you're just going to get a white. You're just going to create the highlight there. So your picture is almost complete. So now I'm going to show you just uh, how to make some fairy lights. So you're going to get your white and you're going to create a circle like so. Then you're going to use a yellow and do another circle around that, like so. Then the white again. And then you're going to use your finger, you're just going to do that just to show that it's glistening. And you're just going to do that around where there's some blank spaces left. Okay, so that is my picture finally complete. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll just show you again the other one that I did. Now obviously with it being soft pastels you can use something like hairspray if you just want to stop it from smudging so much. But yeah that is the end of the lesson and I will see you in the next video. Bye!